The Free Expression Awards celebrate the powerful ways we can all use our freedoms of religion, speech, press, assembly, and petition to help our great nation live up to its ideals. It is precisely because we have protected the religious liberty and conscience of all and have protected against government domination of religious matters that religion has flourished here. If we really want to address the broad extent of racism facing our community, we need to develop comprehensive approaches to edu educate our communities before the racism rises to the level of hate crimes. Demographics have changed, the business model has changed, and culture has evolved. That's our reality, and thanks to technology that makes anyone a potential publisher, the differences are highlighted, outrage is deeper and more widely shared, and everything is questioned. Free speech in this country is under attack. The plague of anti-history laws and book bans that seek to stifle discussions and teachings that conservatives deem unpatriotic and divisive make it challenging to teach an accurate rendering of American history and particularly target those who are already marginalized in our society. Tonight we celebrate the champions of free expression, including so many incredible journalists. It's, it's humbling to be around. You write the most intrepid and groundbreaking articles that I have open in a browser tab and will get to eventually once I have a few minutes. <laughs> Free expression takes many forms. It is never too early or too late to embrace our First Amendment freedoms and use them to create a better future for all of us.